All right, Gatorade, and there's our seal. Okay.
There's a container with a reefer on it, okay. Another container with a reefer on it. Here we go, there's a break. There's a Maricold next to it. Train tracks that have been beat up. Oh, let's go over those. QT now hiring, come inside to apply. Recruiter ants on site, immediate interviews. Everybody needs some, we need a, a workforce that wants to work again in this country. Come on. Let's get back to work. Get off the TikToks and get back to work. We all can do our part, we'll have a nice thriving world to live in. But that's just how I think. There's a bright orange Camaro down there. It's pretty. My middle child <laughs> tells me maybe one day we'll have enough money to buy a Camaro. <laughs> I said, okay. Uh, what's wrong with the, the Hellcat? He's like, oh, Camaros are there. I'm like, oh, okay, well. But he probably, he, he's thinking of a new Camaro. He doesn't he doesn't want to see an IROC that I want to get. Oh, no. But I thought that was funny. I said, really? He wants to get a Camaro? I was like, yeah, Camaro. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Lots of people working here, lots of trucks. Those are three identical Tundras, all with brand new plates on them. I wonder what those are for. I guess QT likes Toyota. Brand new Tundras with, with the... All right, so, oh, the gate's open, okay. I was gonna say, is there like a call box? The gates is open. Let's roll in. I'm supposed to use intercom. Drivers must check in an office before pulling through gate. Check okay. So I'm gonna use this little call button here. Let's get our bills. Hello? It's not good. You can see that a lot of people have uh, taken out this pole, especially when there is a trailer light right there. Not good. Bad day for your trailer. All right, well, no one's talking to me. Ring for service. Okay. Hello, hello. I guess you're just supposed to go in then. I just don't want to block anybody, but we'll go in. Let's do it. Let me try to check in, no answer. We're just gonna leave it right here along this curb, away from their diesel reserves so they can fuel their Guard jockey if they need to. We got an MHC truck right there. So now we gotta walk and find the uh, office. So let's do that. Well, the offices? All, all the way down? All right, thank you. 21. Some Gatorade. Get back in the door. I did not. I kind of said I hit the call box, but nobody answered, so I just stayed off the side of the curb. That white truck. Hey, um, back in door 20, okay? 20? Yeah, when we're done, we'll give you a green light. We'll put your paperwork in the window. Okay. Back in door 20. Thank you, man. That is a major score. So awesome. They put it in 20, and we're done. Green light. Cool. Like they added that or something it looks like brand new doors so i don't know it smells like uh anheuser bush smells like that raisin bread hmm. let's get to door 20. so from the time the forklift hit <laughs> the truck till it was uh unloaded it was like five minutes guys they're so quick i love qt and everything they do all right we're firing up and uh, that load is, is here now 
they, they keep rejecting my offer, but then they up their buy it, uh, book it now price. So we'll see if we get that one. I'm gonna come back at 700 and say, let's just do it at that and see what they say. So I don't know if we're getting that one. Um, it was rejected again at 800. And then they said I was outbid. So I said, okay. So normally when they say you're outbid, they're kind of bringing you back to where they want to be. So it was 785. So I did 777 they rejected that. But before they rejected it, it's like there's sometimes two people looking at the load and one is just mad at you or doesn't want to take your offer. And the other one is like trying to work with you. So the one that was trying to work with me countered at 700. You can see it right here. It was uh, outbid, counter offered, then rejected. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, well. 700 is what you're asking, so I went back to 750, so we'll see what happens, but it's funny, they'll, they'll say you've been outbid, but really they're just trying to make you come a little bit, like, meet them in between, there's nobody else bidding. Uh, it's all a big game sometimes, but go ahead, Mustang, it's a nice car. I don't like those uh, fuel fuel caps, so they did, like, the billet, uh, black fuel cap with the billet rivets in it, it's just doing too much, you're not a, you're not a, you're not a Le Mans race car, okay, let's leave it, uh, Leave it with the regular cap on there. It's a V6 though, so maybe uh, there's looking for some, some bolt-ons. Either way, now we're covering the railroad tracks and we got a bunch of traffic coming to our left. So we'll see um, right now if they're gonna take 750, that's $50 over. Um, get us back home. Drops right where I live, so that'd be nice. Man, there's a lot of traffic coming. And it is 10.30 now, so we got unloaded two and a half hours early. Awesome, thank you QT. Always cool. And on the BOL, it was weird. Instead of saying quick trip, it said quick and tasty foods. There you go. That Volkswagen's turning. We're good. It's quick and tasty foods, but it says QT like all the place. So it says QT distribution center right there. Quick trip. Whatever. We're going to go back to the quick trip down here and see if we get this load. And she's probably picking up someone right here. So we'll see. I think they're staying at 700 because they this time they counter offered and it stayed there. The other person didn't deny it, so <clears throat> um, I'll just let it sit there for a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a chicken sandwich from Burger King across the street, and that nice root beer W9 pulled out right here where that melting truck is. So I'm gonna pull in his spot. Two spots. Very rare to get spots here. A lot of people use it for like parking, just like that QT over there in Fulton. There's a root beer right there. He just pulled over there. The, uh, it's like a brown with the, the fenders. It's like a root beer float. All right, let's get this trailer straightened out. And someone else is pulling in, so I'll wait for him. Goodbye, and there we go. Nobody else pulling in? Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So yeah, we'll get back at JB Hunt and I'll just get back on Truck Smarter and see what else is going on around here. But this is one of those uh, situations where I'm more inclined to take it because it gets me home kind of thing. A lot of people do that. They'll take a load for not that much or not a great rate because they're trying to get back towards house. So I get it. I've done it before too, but I'm still not trying to ruin the rates for everybody else by taking it for cheaper than it should. So 72 miles, coming to Fountain Inn. There's, there's stuff out there, but not, not as much as uh, there is over here. So... It's not a bad market to go to, and it takes me home, so we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm putting my trailer in the trees. There's some trees on the top that need to be cut back. But I don't want to leave it out too far, but this guy next to me put his flatbed like up on the curb. His back axle's up on the curb. His split axle. Uh, but I don't want to get my front ripped off like the Volvo did yesterday. Uh, that's good enough. Please don't hit me anybody. Let's walk to Burger King. Before we get to Burger King, though, we're going to check our hub again. And thank you guys for all your comments on uh, the air system. Maybe that's why they're cooler, but that is not it because the air system is turned off right now. <clears throat> so, 80, 101, but that's because that's the power draw, the uh, drive that has the power to it. Let's see how she's doing. She's coming down. She's 94. Still at 80. Hanging out in the trees. A lot of people dump their stuff out of the back of their trailers. Out here. Yeah, he put his old axle on the, on the curb there. I don't know what's going on. 
87, 82. So, let's see if it hit that. He's probably been parked here for a while. Let's see what these ones are. Hundred and one on that one. Hmm, that's a little I mean it's supposed to be 120, so that's that's like the Let's see if these ones are the hundreds. These are eighties. Yeah, okay, that's the same. Alright, well, oh yeah, so I wanted to show you right here. Um, this might be the first load I ever factor, guys. I think I'm going to reach out to Truck Smarter. They're, they're rolling out an early um, factoring beta mode, and so I can I can start factoring with them. It's not available yet, so don't don't email them or, or jump on them about it. But they're trying to do it, so or get it get the kinks worked out. So I think I might factor that one because you'll see it. At, it's twenty five dollars, eight hundred fifty dollars at three percent, and it is uh, twelve dollars at one point five percent. So you're saving yourself a meal right now at Burger King. Uh, by factoring so that'll be across the board and it's next day 24 hour uh, payment also so we will see but that might be my first broken load ever i'm going to email that to my the, my contact at truck smarter and uh, that'll be rolling out later later on but not right now guys okay time to f get some food okay we had a great sandwich Woo, little uh, wind thing up there and uh, check out right here, you'll see that JB Home Load, they were just, it's, they would never move off of 700. So they were counter offered me four times and I kept trying, at least for 725 even. Wouldn't do it. <clears throat> so, that's Peter Bill, he just kind of moved back in there. We um, booked that load and see how far it is from where we're at. And sometimes when you book a load, you go to that uh, tab and try to say assigned driver and it won't let you. So you have to close the app out and then go back to it. So close out the app, open it back up. It takes forever to load sometimes. And, um, and you can see, you can assign yourself and see where it's picking up. And we'll look at the map in a second and see where it's picking up. A Raptor coming out. It was like the first Raptors when those things first came out. Heck yeah. We got our chicken sandwich, sign the driver. Active load, look at view details, and um, see how far away it is, because QT was down the street, and this one is one mile away, which is awesome. I didn't know that, I didn't. See, the thing about Truck Smart is pretty cool. Uh, one more thing about them, that thing's knocking. Truck Smarter will um, show you like the receiver and shipper. Some of the apps do, but like JB Hunt doesn't sometimes, so. I could have searched the name of the shipper, didn't give you the address, but it gives you the name. So, pretty cool to do that. And while we were in there doing our uh, our phone call, we had a phone call with the factoring company. We are factoring now. We're set up, got all my stuff submitted, and it's not that hard. And when they do roll it out, I will uh, walk you guys through it. And it's just like setting up with a uh, a new broker. So, not bad. But that is a JB Hunt load. It is right over there. So let's go pick it up. I'm getting this big girl. She's got some neighbors now. All right. I like that chrome on the gauges. Looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go across the street. Pick up some plastic pellets.
cloudy, but it's 79 degrees now. A little, a little humid, that rain on the ground. All right, there we go. We'll see you later, Jetta. Check in down there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, no worries. 
Okay, so you go get weighed and then get loaded, go back and get weighed again, yeah. then come back? Okay, so I'll go away and then come back. Did you just need those numbers or no? Do you want to sign for me? I did, but I don't know what number was right. Load gets better. The plot thickens. You need a weight ticket. Hmm. It's a good thing QT's right there. If, if there wasn't a weight station like, close by, I would just cancel and say, see ya. Because they didn't put that in the uh, notes at JB Hunt's app at all. I don't mind. Let's go get weighed. So now we got to turn around in here. Get out of here. Go away and then come back here. It'll be fun times. Oh, oh, truck in. Turning around is going to be the fun part because I'm going to use this little ramp they have, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to get turned around. If that Volvo wasn't there, it would be a decent turn, but Volvo is there. Let's try it.
coming in and see where he goes. I'm backing up there, brother, so you go ahead. He's kind of like waiting to see what I do. Hazard's on. He's making a turn. Six truck for the week. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Three one six. That's it. That's right. I kept asking over the thing. No <laughs> worries. My, my truck's loud, man. <laughs> Who's your company name, sir? RMT. R. And is it Nancy? Uh, R R Ricky Mary Tommy. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> and what's their trailer number, sir? Five three one four four six. Thank you. Hmm? information. Twelve fifty. And go. Number nine. Nine. Cool. Yes, sir. Cool. Be back in like an hour for okay. the freeway. I'll Thanks, see you man. You're welcome, sir. I'll see you then. Thirty-five, four sixty. All right. Also, when you need a scale ticket, it means they're going to load you very heavy. <laughs> Should I wait for one end to come out or is it? 
<laughs> my trunk don't turn very well. <laughs> so most guys come in nose first and just back it in? Also, I'm going to hold five and back it in, so I'm going to make a U-tie and blind side. Okay. But door three. Yeah. Thanks, man. So the good news, they're loading this now. The bad news, uh, getting in here. <laughs> There's no way I can make that. The trailer, the thing is the trailer won't come back around. So I'm going to have to blindside from the street because I can't even, might be able to turn around right there. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to back in from the street, but in that way yeah i'll probably be able to turn around so we'll blindside but we'll come in turn around and then blindside so should be fun Okay, he just knocked on the door and said, hey, you are ready to go. So now we gotta go reway. And then he said, come back. You shouldn't have to pull back into a door. I said, I hope not. <laughs> like if we're, if we're loaded heavy <laughs> and I have to come back and take a pallet off, man, oh man. Okay, let's get out of here. But there's a truck right there. So we gotta clear him. We gotta slide our cameras back. So let's do all that. Now you might be wondering why I don't use the other entrance to uh, get on that scale. It's because I'd have to like go over the highway do a U-turn somewhere up there and there's no truck stop on the other side and then come back over here so I have to kind of back into it like this because I have to come use this entrance so the fifth time at this QT today and I want to ask him when I get back there because I didn't see anybody else leave and come back um, like go get away and come back is it because of the type of truck I have? Because this truck is typically heavier than an aero truck, well, Volvo or a Cascadia or something. So, is that why or what? Or is it just that kind of load where not all the other ones are maxed out? I don't know. But I'm going to ask him, like, hey, uh, I didn't see anybody else get loaded. Is it just because I drive a large car? Um, but if I could just tell him, like, I know it's about 35,000 pounds, no matter how much fuel I have. Wait, it's for the safety measure of it also. You don't want to get pulled into the scale house and be overweight or you don't want to be liable. What are you doing, Cascadia? All right. I like that color, though, cement gray. Let's go back around, ring around the rosy. You have to come on the scale the right way because it measures, weighs your steers, your drives, and your, and your trailer tandem. So you can't just come in the opposite way because the scales are set up differently. Be nice and easy here. I don't want nobody's flying in here and taking me out. Uh, well, we're good. Well, we got someone coming in though, so good thing was good timing.
are coming back. And there we go. Back on it. You don't want to make any sudden movements under scale, mess up the calibrations or nothing. It's nice and easy. Time you couldn't hear me. That the shipper has a reway ticket number on it. I should have known that, but so now I gotta pay full price twice. Oh, yeah, unless that guy rem remembers me, but this is a different guy. You can tell by his voice. Good, cool beans. Day's getting better with this good old way ticket stuff. It just started raining. A little mobile office right there. Someone's unloading their uh, box truck. Get off their fuel stuff, their fuel tanks. Get in here, get a new ticket. That was nice. The guy, he uh, found it in a system, I guess. I don't know how. Maybe he could do that, maybe he couldn't. But he found it in a system and discharged us a $3 reway. So that was nice. Okay, it's got an arrow, so we're going to go. Traffic's starting to pick up. And it, but I mean, it, on the bright side, it's 2 o'clock just now. It's 2.03. So, we're supposed to be letting this uh, loaded at 2.30. So, at least we're on the road a half an hour before we're warming. A little bit of a fiasco getting waste way tickets. If you know about it, that's that's a different story. Like, if the broker says, hey, you got to weigh in. Like, my broker from Chase Robinson, Nick, he'll always say, hey, this one needs weights. This needs uh, empty and heavy. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, that, that changes your thought process. Like, how far is the scale? Uh... I'm going to have to drive 20 miles both ways to get to a scale, or, or 10 miles, or 5 miles. This one's down the street, one mile, not bad, but places like this, you feel like they should have a scale on site or something if they're going to go ahead and scale, or just load light, load what you know is going to be under the gross, so I don't know. There's a bunch of reasons for it, but safety is the number one thing, so that's what we are going by. JB Hunt there, I got a car coming down. I mean, it's kind of a quick curve right here that truck coming. Let's see if he comes and nobody else comes over the hill. Oh, but there's somebody else coming over the hill. We probably could have got out of the way quick enough, but mm, don't want to mess with it. Well, no need to uh, block the drive again, so we'll just take another ticket. And we were 77.2, so 3,000 pounds off of uh, gross, so max gross. Who knows? I'm just going to ask him, does everybody get scaled or was it just me? Luck of the draw? Bring a heavy ticket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad, bro. I, I heard it, but I got you. All good, no worries. How you doing, man? Did you drop the weight ticket off? Yeah. Did they weigh everybody? No. So this is what we call scrap load. So uh -huh. what it is, it's, um, that's how we get paid is by the pound. Okay, so, so it's each only one of those pounds might be different weight. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, it makes sense. But as you heard him say, it's like uh, every one of those skids is a different weight because it's recycled stuff. So gave us a seal, gave us our papers. And it takes us back home, so that's cool. Maybe the broker didn't know that. Maybe he did. I'm asking him for uh, fifty dollars for the weight tickets, which are fifteen dollars, but it's also the time going back and forth. So we'll see. But we did get loaded early. Can't complain. Uh, let's just get this big old truck back down to uh, South Carolina. See these babies and T dubs. Let's roll. South Carolina way station is open. The Georgia one was too, but we got bypassed. Uh, I guess the sign's not working. Typically that little LED sign up there would uh, be talking to you. That guy's smoking his brakes a little bit. So I guess they are bringing everybody in. Let's get down to 30. There we go. Let's see what we got going on. These guys are going way less than 30. Concrete a little bit. 
They're definitely working. Back to the scale house. White un uh, unmarked stage trip right there. The computer up and everything. They're keeping the blitz going. Sometimes it makes you wonder what they do, what's which ones they think, which ones they don't, you know, or if it's just random. It literally just started pouring about three seconds ago and our drop is uh, 1.2 miles from here so that's awesome we need to get in that truck over there but I think I'm gonna let this hopefully calm down otherwise I'm gonna go grab my rain jacket out of the closet back there <laughs> but yeah let's uh, we got a 10 a.m. point tomorrow we'll probably get there at 8 a.m. and see if they can get it off the truck my goodness that is the rain some of you guys asked what camera I use it is a next base Next base, check it out. They're great cameras, they're Bluetooth. Come on, oil, come on down. Okay, the rain subsided for a little bit, but it's coming back up, so let's go get in that truck, but that is good. Oh, goodness. I left the door open because I was airing it up. Let's get that door closed. So there's a flash flood warning out here which is kind of hard to believe because we get a lot of rain sometimes so there is a lot of rain on the uh shoulders and when i came out of where i parked my truck there was I, this truck almost got like flooded on the right side <clears throat> so be careful out there in south Carolina if you're uh, driving around today i feel bad for the fair because the fair is supposed to be going on this whole week and this is what they're dealing with right now and they're on a grass field that's just getting muddier and muddier so sorry fair Seems like they always get rain too. So I have no idea what Big Joe is, but T Dubs did say that she got a new uh, float. So I can imagine that's what it is. Oh yeah. What in the world? Feels like a bean bag. Whatever, T Dubs. I don't know, like attaches to itself. But we're home. Time to see what these babies are doing. Tiki hears me. I know that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, students. Oh, oh, hi, babies. Oh. I'll hold you to me. Oh. Mm. I miss you guys. Two more hugs. Oh. What are you guys doing? Hold him a little bit tighter. Watching TVs? Where's my big boy Cash? There he is. Lucy, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, calm down. Calm down. I like your outfit. Calm down, Lucy. Calm down. Lucy, Lucy. 
I'm gonna hug this one a little extra today. Hi. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> hold, your, hold your loved ones a little tighter, guys. And prayers still to everybody in Texas. Okay, one more jump and then you say goodbye. Ready? <laughs> All right, push the button. Bye-bye.